Steve, getting some bodies back in the lineup, it looks like this week in uh, Carter Ashton, Andrew McLean. Yeah, both guys are going to play tomorrow night, uh, which is great. Uh, you add some more size and some more physicality, uh, which is going to help us against Milwaukee. They're a big, strong hockey club. So nice to get, uh, you know, uh, some more energy, some more grit in our lineup. And now it looks like uh, Peter Holland and Spencer Abbott are, are close right behind them, which is good news as well. Tough to get back in this lineup after a couple of wins in this series. It is, you know, especially with uh, some of the work. But, uh, you know, there are some guys that have some bumps and bruises that are going to need some maintenance. So uh, some of those decisions were made for us, which is great. Steve, what are some of the things that you and the coach, rest of the coaching staff have to do to keep the players level-headed, especially with the 2 nothing series lead? Well, again, it's it's meetings. It's it's constant communication. It's not taking things for granted and making sure that our mindset is where it needs to be. We were sharp again in practice the last three days. So that tells me that the guys are in the right frame of mind. Is there any timeline on Abbott or Holland? Yeah, they're very close. Uh, game time decision tomorrow. So the nice thing for us is we know they're they're very close to be getting back in.